Walking into my room is always a great feeling. The white walls blends well with my setup and the bright room always keeps me productive. I was not planning on making this video as yet since I wanted to wait for my white keyboard to ship but I decided that I needed to make this video due to all the questions and DMs I got on Reddit. If you're here from Random Frank's P video, welcome to my channel. My name is Siobhan and I post tech related content and lifestyle videos. I wouldn't say I'm a minimalist but whatever I do I always try to keep it simple. My room isn't the largest so I had to keep everything down to a minimum. A lot of people wanted me to paint the door white but my dresser is caramel brown and the same for the floor. So I think it's a good contrast. Now let's start with the acoustic foams on the walls because for some strange reason I got asked the most about it. These foams are from Arrowzoom. It's perfect for people like me who films in my room. It helps to reduce the background echo and is also a must have for singers or musicians or even streamers like for Twitch. But realistically, I just got them for the aesthetics and I think they look great and helps to bring across my setup even more. Now Arazuma was kind enough to send me these for free and also if you guys would like to pick some up, they have tons of different color options and styles you could choose from on their website. I also got you guys a 10% discount code so if you use my code AZ hyphen s-h-e-v-o-n at checkout you'll get 10 percent off any purchase now the acoustic foams was fairly easy to install they came with double-sided tape and i ensured that the wall was clean and i placed one on each corner of the foam and they have been up for around three to four weeks now without falling which is great because i'm not allowed to bore holes in the walls for this room well i could but then i would be fined by the landlord if he finds out and also I want to say thanks to Arizoom for sponsoring today's video. Alright guys, so another thing I really like about this room is that this white wall right here. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I have my projector set up there. And that's why you're hearing this loud sound right now. But this projector is dope. It matches like my room perfectly. It's gray and white. I did a full review on the projector. If you guys want to check it out. But it just matches everything. The gray and white color scheme. Gray, black and white gray black and white the walls all of that so yeah I might sell it soon though because I'll be getting a new one an upgraded version to this so I'm recording this in advance just in case the sale actually goes through but at night time it looks good okay Google turn off the lights all right look at that look how nice it looks now Plus, I have the blinds up. If I put the blinds down, it even looks sharper. So, it's way better than a TV in my opinion. And you just can't go wrong with a projector. Now, the beast of a desk that holds most of my gear is the Autonomous Smart Desk 2 Premium. This is the 53 by 29 inch version, which is kind of small for what I have going on here, but I had to settle with this because the 70 inch version is not available in Canada, and until this day, I still don't know why. I've had this desk for about two months now, and all I have to say is, this is a go. The construction of the desk is just solid, I have no issues with the desk wobbling or shaking when I'm typing or raging or doing anything on the desk, even when I'm sitting on the desk, it's firm. Setting up the desk was also pretty easy and I have made a video of me setting this desk up for the first time so if you'd like to see that in detail I'll leave links for that video down below in the description. Now seeing that this is a smart desk it has the ability to move up and down and is smart enough to remember up to 4 different height presets so you can easily press one button and watch the desk adjust its height to where you want it to. There's also a couple cable management holes at the other end of the tabletop so you can neatly route all your wires which to me is a very nice touch if you're deep into cable management. Now powering my entire setup is a Core i9-9900K CPU paired with the EVGA RTX 2080 Super. I'm also rocking 32 gigs of Corsair RAM and also the MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Edge AC motherboard is what's holding up all my components. I chose the H100i all white AIO liquid cooler and if that wasn't cool enough I went ahead and installed two more white LL120 RGB fans at the bottom for mainly looks but hopefully it's also drawing some heat from the GPU. The case that I'm using already came with two RGB fans and the cooler came with two as well so my PC has a total of six fans running. 
I'm not too big on RGB anymore like I used to so I kept all my fans to white which keeps my theme looking nice. And sometimes when I'm gaming I'll whip out the RGB fever to put me in the mood and just to switch it up. The case that I'm using is the Corsair 2080X which is a dual chamber design case. The only thing I did to the case was I removed the top dust filter because I realized when it's off I get better thermals. Building in this case was actually pretty straightforward since one half stores all the cables and storage while the other half just holds the motherboard and its components. The smaller form factor of this case allows me to have way more desk space compared to when I had a full ATX build so now I could have my two monitors and also have good enough mouse space for when I'm playing video games. So on a daily I edit a lot of videos and I also still find the time to stream games over on Twitch and my PC pushes through everything without any issues. I own a small esports team called Vision Gaming and we play a lot of competitive Call of Duty, Fortnite and now we're building a pro Valorant team. So if you're interested in anything I'll leave links down below in the description. My other computing device of choice is the 2020 MacBook Air with all base specs. My MacBook is what I use to do things that my PC can't really do like being portable. I tried the iPad Pro 2020 but I couldn't find myself writing scripts or using it for anything but YouTube and Netflix. I thought it would be the perfect fit for me and I was waiting for the magic keyboard as well but then I realized how much I would have to pay just to turn my iPad into a laptop so I just decided to buy a laptop. My MacBook Air can edit light videos on the go and I also edit most of my thumbnails on there. So yeah, it's just a good computer to have especially when all my mobile devices are already Apple. And yeah, Apple dragged me into their ecosystem so yeah, I'm stuck right now. I still try to use Android devices as well and my main Android device of choice is the LG V60 ThinQ. The keyboard I'm using right now is the Driver Caliber V2. It wasn't a custom keyboard or anything. I ordered it from Amazon and they came with Outumi or Outmi, Outmu. Just please somebody down below in the comments tell me how to pronounce it but I think it's Outmu. So they're Outmu red switches. They're pretty good for the price and I would recommend it if you're looking for an entry level 65% keyboard that has a dedicated arrow keys. Now the gold accent keycaps and the keycaps that came with the driver caliber are both ABS keycaps and they're not PBT so they will start to get glossy and shine after a couple months of use. But the good thing about the ABS keycaps is that if you're into RGB they look really nice when the RGB lights are shining through them. Aside from that though, it's a really good keyboard with bright RGB keys which are all individually lit and it also came with a polished software that you could use to control all the lighting effects and create custom lighting effects but you can also control preset lighting effects on the keyboard itself which is a good touch. I'll be upgrading this keyboard in a week or so to the Woomir K66 from Banggood which is an all white version and I'm super excited to see that. The mouse of choice is the Logitech MX Master 2S. I've been using it for over a year and I just can't change it. It's just a productivity monster for me. It has a very nice grip, it's super comfortable, the battery life is also superb and you could customize it fully within the Logitech Options software. I can also use this Logitech Flow option to transfer files from my PC to my Mac with the same mouse which is still mind boggling to me. So the two monitors that I'm using serves two different purposes. My main monitor is the 240Hz gaming monitor from Alienware and to the left is the BenQ EX32 ATU 4K monitor. If you'd like to see a dedicated review on that monitor, let me know down below in the comments. Now that 4K monitor is what I use for all my media consumption and video editing. The Alienware monitor on the other hand doesn't have the best color reproduction or viewing angles but it does one thing damn well and that's running smoothly at 240Hz with a 1 millisecond response time. It's absolutely amazing. Since I got introduced to the 240fps gaming, I can't find myself playing games on monitors with low refresh rates. Playing on such a high refresh rate really just feels like a cheat code and my friends always complain about it when I kill them. Now if you look closely you will see that I removed the stand it came with because the default Alienware monitor stands are obnoxious, huge and it just looks really bad and literally consumes all your desk space. So I just found an old Dell monitor stand and swapped them out and it looks perfectly fine and goes well with my aesthetics. When I'm not gaming though, I'm always using the 4K Beauty from BenQ. It runs at a max refresh rate of 60Hz which isn't an issue to me because I don't game on it. I mainly use it for creating content here on YouTube or just consuming media. Where audio is concerned, if I'm not using my Logitech G Pro X headset, 
The built-in audio from the BenQ monitor is surprisingly good. They come with some really nice sounding 5 watt speakers and also has some subwoofers at the top. And to be honest, this monitor is probably the best built-in speakers I've ever heard in a monitor for this size and price. Now the BenQ EX32 ADU is held up by a Vivo monitor arm that I found at Amazon because the monitor stand that came with it was really limited and couldn't move up or down, it could only swivel from left to right. So the Vivo monitor arm also gave me more space to work with on my desk and it's more flexible. Now what's wrong with like monitor companies and the stand, they just can't make a good stand. Now I got a couple questions about people asking me what was that thing that's clipped onto the right side of my desk and that's the thing that I use to hold my mic. So when I'm streaming I also use a shotgun mic from Deity, it's called the Deity D3 microphone and to me it sounds pretty good and I'm currently using it to record audio for this video. And also the thing that I put inside is a, I would call it a mic stand, boom arm mic stand. So whenever I'm not using the boom arm I'll just take it off just to let my desk have a cleaner look. But when I'm streaming and I'm using it, that little clip that you saw on the right side of the desk is where I'll put that newer monitor arm stand. Now how could I forget the chair? The chair that supports me 24-7 is the Autonomous Erga Chair 2. And yes by now you can see that I love Autonomous. This chair is amazing. It fits the setup perfectly and it's also very comfortable with premium features at an affordable price. So you could adjust the lumbar support, you have a neck rest support, you can adjust the angle of the seat, you could go up and down like typical chairs of course. But there's just so much things that you could do, you could tighten the tension, go way back in the chair, you could lie down. Like it's just something that you have to experience. I could go on and on about this chair but that's a whole video on it itself. And if I was to recommend a good chair for anyone who sits at a desk for long hours, I would tell them to get a Herman Miller if they had the money or if you're on a budget just buy this. I also made a dedicated review on this chair so you could go ahead and check that out yourself if you're interested links below in the description and if you look at the comments a lot of people ending up purchasing the chair because it's that good. Alright, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I hope you like my setup and let me know if you have any tips for me or if you got inspired by the setup, let me know down below in the comments. Before you guys go though, I had to answer some quick hot fire questions that you guys were asking me and some miscellaneous stuff that I have going around the setup. So the first question is, these are all from Reddit. And the most asked one was, what's that sticker on your PC? Somebody asked if it was an LCD screen or that like, everyone wants to know what was that on my PC. Now that's basically a sticky you note that dbrand sent me. So I used to work with dbrand back then like a year ago. They used to send me a lot of products and stuff like that. But for some strange reason, they stopped sending me products. I think it was because I was working with slick wraps as well. I don't know why. And they messed up an order. So I emailed them and said, hey, you guys messed up an order. Could you send me some new packages and also please send me something for motivation and that time I had like 45,000 subscribers so they sent me a sticky note I'm gonna rip it off my PC and I was actually upset when they sent me but now it's actually motivation for me so they sent me this you guys could read that literally that's what dbrand sent me they said F you and your 45.3k they got they got detailed with it too. They said 45.3k subscribers. Now I have 50k. Look at me now. So that's my motivation. I never leave it. They also sent this thing. I'm not sure if you guys could read it. Just pause it and read it. Literally, D brand. Send me this. And they know that I work with Rhino Shield. So they put Rhino shit at the bottom down here. Which is funny. But yeah, that's the whole synopsis of what's on my PC. Another question we have is How is the cable management? Now, the cable management is good. I spent a lot of time on my cable management, as you can see from the B rolls and stuff. So I just use cable tires and use Raceway. Shout out to Tech Source. I learned that from him. I use Raceway. Just pull all the cables in there, then just use adhesive cable ties route the cables and just stick them under the desk i also put a power strip under there i'm thinking about getting a larger one because that one is filled up i was just using like adapters to get more outlets but yeah the cable management is good and i use auto zip ties that's basically it 
what light do you use now in my room i have a total of around eight philips hue lights so yeah the entire room is controlled by philips hue except this bright light around here which is an umbrella light and another umbrella light over there but everything philips hue lights around the desk philips hue play bars philips hue behind my bed philips hue in that lamp literally everywhere in my room has a philips hue light bulb and also two philips hue in the ceiling so i could just control them with google or siri or just control them from my mobile phone okay so someone asked how is the benq screen bar lamp perfect it worked as intended turn it on illuminates the desk without interfering with the screen you have different color temperatures you could use or you could just use their brightness intelligence software which basically controls the brightness and the color temperature based on the environment so yeah, it's really good if you're eating or reading a book or you just want to turn on a little light to find something around the desk without have to be turning on all the lights someone said do you use discord light theme no i use dark mode for everything except my room my room is in light mode for the entire day but when's at night i have to turn it down i can't keep the bright lights on at night people think i sleep with the lights on but no i turn them off unfortunately start to burst your bubble another person asked do you connect your macbook to the displays and i usually do it but then it got annoying for me to be plugging in and unplugging the usb-c hub and then plugging in the HDMI cord, all of that, so no, I don't connect my MacBook to the displays anymore. Another person asked, what wallpaper are you using? Now, this wallpaper, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's from Wallpaper Engine. It's an application on Steam. It's like $5, definitely worth every penny. But yeah, let me know if I could, I don't know if I could give you guys the wallpaper, but I'll try my best. If not, I'll just tell you the name. It's called on Wallpaper Engine. And yeah, that was basically all the questions and stuff that you guys asked me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you're wondering what's on my phone right here, this is a Rhino Shield skin. Uh, links down below in the description for this as well. But yeah, hopefully I answered everything. I'm not sure if I left out anything. I tried to answer everything. So please just comment down below if there's anything I missed. And I will try to reply to everyone in the comments. As always guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out. Thank you.